What is up everybody? Today I have a great video for you. I'm gonna show you how to get your HyperX Alloy FPS RGB keyboard to work on the PlayStation 4. So as you see here, I have it plugged into my PlayStation 4 and it doesn't work. So I have the keyboard and mouse plugged in. Mouse works, so you can see here, but nothing, absolutely nothing happens when you're hitting the keys on the keyboard. So I went ahead and disconnected the keyboard because I wanted to show you guys that the PS4 actually recognizes the keyboard, but then it doesn't work. So I've disconnected the USB cable. I'm gonna plug it in. You guys are gonna see in the top left, it's gonna say keyboard connected. So let's go ahead and plug it in right now. Take a look right here. Sure enough, it says keyboard connected. I'm gonna go ahead and press X. You see here as a keyboard and mouse. All right. Mouse works just fine, but keyboard does not respond at all. So if you guys are having that problem, I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now. So I've actually been in communications with HyperX regarding this problem where the Alloy FPS RGB keyboard doesn't work with your PS4. And they've actually hooked me up with their latest firmware that fixes the issues that makes this keyboard compatible with the PS4. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide that for you guys here. And you're gonna find the link to this firmware that makes your Alloy FPS RGB compatible with the PlayStation 4. So you can go ahead and look in the description of the video and I'll put a link to that. Again, this link is provided directly from HyperX. They hooked me up with this link. And now I'm helping you guys out by providing it to you guys so you can get your keyboard to work on your PlayStation 4 so you can play Fortnite or whatever game you wanna play that supports keyboard and mouse on PlayStation 4. All right, everybody, so I know that downloading a firmware update from a Google Drive might seem weird. Maybe I'm sending you to a virus, but don't worry. Be completely transparent with you. Right here, you see my communications back and forth with HyperX, where they give me the link to the HyperX Alloy FPS RGB firmware. And as you can see here, where I've highlighted, they actually say the new firmware will enable you to use your keyboard with the PS4. So that is confirmed from HyperX. All right, so hopefully this puts you a little bit more at ease about downloading this firmware update for your keyboard. So you can go ahead and click the link in the description down below, or you can go ahead and just copy and paste to your browser. And it's basically a zip file. You're gonna go ahead and click download. And then you're gonna click save. Okay, once it's downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and click open. And as you can see here, the zip file contains the executable. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and extract the file and go ahead and click extract. All right, so as you can see here, this has a firmware updated for version 2.1.1.7. This is the version you need to make your HyperX Alloy FPS RGB work on the PlayStation 4. So you're gonna go ahead and double click the file. If you get a warning, go ahead and click yes. And this is the firmware update. It's gonna show you your current version, which is 2.1.1.3. That's the latest available using their software. But the version that HyperX hooked me up with is version 2117. That's the one you want. It's gonna make your keyboard compatible with the PS4. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click the update button here to update your keyboard to 2117. This is the firmware version that's gonna make your keyboard compatible with the PlayStation 4. So here we go. So you will see the so you will see the RGB lights turn off. That is normal, don't worry. So the Ingenuity software might detect that you have a different version than, than the latest version they have available through their software, which is 2113. Make sure you say no to update to 2113. You wanna stay on 2117 to make it compatible with the PS4. So stay on firmware version 2117. Do not update the firmware after you've updated to 2117. And you do not wanna unplug your keyboard during this process. Okay, so it says your device has been successfully updated. The RGB lights on the keyboard will light up. Go ahead and click OK. And now you can go ahead and unplug your HyperX Alloy FPS RGB keyboard and connect it to your PS4 and it should work now. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to the PS4 and give that a try. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the Alloy FPS RGB keyboard. Again, you only need to plug in the plug that has two cables coming out of it, not the one with the single cable. And let's take a look to see if the keyboard works with the PlayStation 4 now. Okay, the PlayStation 4 does detect the keyboard and it says a keyboard is connected to the PlayStation 4. So go ahead and hit the X key. All right, now I'm gonna verify that my mouse works. Great, but now what about the keyboard? Does it work? Let's try jumping. Whoa, there we go, guys. 
Awesome. So the keyboard works. As you can see, I'm moving around with the keyboard. This is awesome. I hope this video helped you guys out.